Hello, I am Kate from The Fold Line and I am here to talk you through some of the new pattern releases for last month. We've got an amazing blog post with them all written in but we thought it might be fun to do a little bit of video action, see if you like it, let us know what you think. So, I'm going to start with our first pick of the month which is the Poppy Play Suit from Sew Over It. If I've worked out how to do this properly you should be able to see the image somewhere but if not it might be on my computer screen. So the pop play suit, really easy make. I've made it before and it took probably about four hour, three, four hours. Um, it's got a sort of quite simple neckline, elasticated waist and then loose shorts. And it also has a long version so you could make the trouser jumpsuit as well if you wanted. But it's really nice for summer and I think once you've made a few of them, they're perfect if you're going on holiday and you want to pull them over your swimming costume. I think it's a goodie. So we've got another one from Sew Over It, They've, they're kind of on fire at the moment about releasing patterns and this one is the rosy dress. So it's probably a sort of 1950s fitted bodice with princess seams and a full skirt. It's really, it's really nice and it's got this lovely little detail around here, sort of little boat neck, I can't think of the right word for it, straps. But yeah, it's lovely and I think it will be really popular. So, next up we have the Elaine jumpsuit from House of Pinero, collaboration with Stylark, and it's really nice. It's a long, long trouser, quite relaxed fit, elasticated waist again, and then it's got these really nice sort of lapels, which are a kind of slight nod, I guess, to tailoring, and looks a bit like a sort of tailored jacket at the front. It's a really nice shape and really interesting and we've seen some really sort of lovely things that some of the bloggers have started making already, so get that. So last month um, Seamwork magazine, which is part of Colette Patterns, did a whole month on menswear and so there are two patterns from them. One is called, I'm going to have to look it up, one is called the Eugene T and the Hamilton Swim Shorts. So those are really nice basic things for boys and there aren't many patterns like that. And if you haven't made something with Seamwork before, the, their sort of unique selling point is that you can make it in under three hours. So it should be a speedy and fun make for your man. So, up next we have got um, the Dita dress from Wear Lemonade. So we, I've got a confession, Rachel and I have a girl crush on her, big time. She has got the most beautiful website. If you want to kind of jump into her world, go and check it out, it is beautiful. And all her patterns are really lovely. And this one's great because it's really relaxed fit, made out of jersey, bat wing, wrap around, make it in a few hours I think. So this pattern is so on trend at the moment. It's the off the shoulder ruffle ruffle you know that everyone's wearing and it's from Vanessa Pouze. I can't pronounce it. It's French. It probably sounds very chic when she says it. It is a really really nice little summer top and they, I've seen lots of sort of hacks of this and I think you know, if you can't be bothered to hack, why not just buy it? Got it. Done. So, next up we have got... Oh, I've forgotten, I've forgotten. Oh yes, the Springfield top from Cashmere. So, this one is great. So, I don't, if you don't know who she is, she was, is a, was, is a blogger turned pattern designer and she focuses on... Um, curvy ladies and she has nailed it. Every single pattern she does she has thought about all the things because they're issues that she's had herself and I think she's really really kind of cornered that side of the market. And this one is a simple sort of kind of little tank top basically but it's much more clever than that. So at the back of it it's got three panels 
which are much more fitted and then at the front there's a lot more volume so if you've got a big bust or you're trying to hide your tummy it is perfect for that and um, I've seen so many people make it on Instagram and you know it's getting rave reviews so the lovely ladies at By Hand London have done it again with another fantastic party dress and this time it's the Charlie dress so this was originally released as a pattern with Simply Sewing Mag and now it's been released into the wild for everyone to buy. It's really nice, it's got, it's got quite a sort of fitted bodice, um, straps, full skirt, it's your classic sort of 50s-esque summer dress. And there's lots of different ways you can hack it up and I know Elise Selects always does the most amazing sew-alongs and pattern hacks. So. It's definitely worth buying and awaiting her kind of creations at some point during the summer. So, I think I say up next every single time, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to try and rein myself in from saying that. We have got um, two patterns from True Bias and really clever because they go perfectly together. So there's a little sort of cami top called the... Ogden no Ogden shorts Emerson top so the Emerson top is a skinny little straps really nice simple sort of cami shape and the Emerson shorts are really nice because you can wear them different lengths so you can see in the image um, she's gone for the longer one but you can make them into shorts as well and they're quite a sort of relaxed fit I think there is a full sort of fly in there so you will have to get involved in that sort of side of things but I think you know, worth taking on the challenge. So Zoe Edwards from Zozo has released a um, kind of pregnancy camisole. Not a kind of, it is a pregnancy camisole. And it is called Cordelia. Yes, I remembered. And um, yeah, it's really nice. It's quite simple. You'd make it out of jersey, obviously, so it can expand with the bump. Um, it's got little pleats at the side to help sort of add sort of fullness around the waist where you need it. And yeah, really nice sort of simple make, perfect for a gift for someone if you've got a friend who's pregnant. And it should only take a few hours, so that's, in my mind, always a bonus. So next up, we have the Paloma blouse from Skinny Bitch Curvy Chick. Come on. It's the best name for a pattern company, isn't it? Genius. So this is really nice little blouse, quite simple, relaxed sort of collar, button down front. But the clever thing about this is that there are two options. So if you think, hell no, I don't want to be doing buttons and buttons holes, there's another option. You can just sew the front together. Isn't that amazing? So clever and no one's done that before. So I think I might buy it. It's a goodie. Check it out. Right, so that's it. What does everyone think? What's everyone loving? What's everyone gonna make? I wanna hear. And I wanna hear if you think this is awful or all right or fantastic, preferably fantastic would be nice. So down there, I'm gonna link to our blog so you can actually go and see the post with all of the new patterns on and also have a proper scooch and decide what you're gonna make. <laughs>